In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a very simple birthday flyer like this in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hi everybody, Innocent here and welcome to the channel. Over here, we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. Inside the description will be a link to download all the resources that I'll be using in this video. You might want to download it. And in case you practice and you want to send it to me to check, you can hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok. Now let's get into Photoshop and let's get started. First things first here in Photoshop, you're going to create a canvas. Now this is going to depend on how you want to create it. But for me, we are going to go for four by four inches, which is a normal standard size social media because we'll literally be posting this on social media now let's make the resolution 300 so that it looks much better and then we can go ahead and click on create the first thing you want to do here is we want to create the background so you go to file place embedded you open your folder that has the asset and then you can bring in your first image so this is an image that i got from pinterest what you can do here is you can open it up some more to the size that you want so i can decide to open it up this will entirely depend on the images that you are using the backgrounds that you want to or the looks that you want to go for after you've gotten all that you want you can right click on this and then rasterize it let's change the background name so let's say bg background okay now let's go to filter blur and then gaussian blur and now we can apply a bit of blur to it so you can see that this has totally change it to we don't want it like this so you want to keep it somewhere around here something like this should be fine okay depends on how you want it as i keep saying so you can go ahead and you click on okay let's go back to file place embedded and then we can bring in the next background which is going to be this birthday celebration type of thing and i got this from png wing so you can place that also around here all right we're going to right click on this rasterize the layer and then we are going to desaturate this so you press ctrl shift and then u to desaturate it and you want to blend it with the background so we can use the blend mode option to do that with this layer selected we go to the blend mode and then you can start scrolling through to get the exact one that you want color band here looks fine you can also go for darking which isn't so good so you can just go through until you find the one that you want in my case vivid light worked so well for me because it brings a part of it that is lighting and a part of it that is not you can as well go for the color band either way would be fine but let's go for the vivid light right over here now we can adjust the background a little bit like that okay we have one more thing to bring in so go to file again place embedded and then you are going to bring this floating leaves that i got from png tree so you double click on that also and then you take your time and you position it somewhere very nicely let's say somewhere around here and then you double click on that now you can go ahead and write your birthday test but in this case i decided to go the very simple way i told you this was going to be very simple so i got an already made birthday test okay from png wing as well so you go to file place embedded and then you can bring that one also here you see this has already been stylized customized and you can easily change the colors to match what you are using to make it very simple and nice okay you don't need to really go through the hassle and bustle to make this work but if you are going to place this here that means we have to bring this slightly down and then you can adjust our test or our birthday test okay you press ctrl a and then you make sure that it is centered and now you can right click go to the blending options to change the color okay so we are going to apply a gradient onto it and if you look at the theme that you are using the colors that you are using you can see that there are a bit of gold and dark gold and dark brown in it so any colors that matches with the background or the pictures that you are using should be fine note that if you are going to go by this way you've not already found your picture or you don't know the image that you are using yet but if you already know the image that you are using you might want to use the colors that matches with the image okay so now let's go ahead and add a gradient overlay here you're going to click on your gradient bar and you're going to change the gradient so these are the gradients that i use if you want to use the same thing this is the first color and this 
is the second color you see it matches with the background so perfectly now you can go ahead click ok ok here and then one more key next up we can bring in our image so i actually made this for someone and unfortunately i cannot use their images over here that's why i'm replacing the image with this picture of sewam here because at least she's a public figure and using her image is okay we can go ahead and remove the background of sewa i'm here and that is why the color changes comes and all that because she's wearing red and we are using a different background but i'll be getting the concept the actual image that i use had the picture of the person in these colors the gold the golden colors that i'm using and that is why i decided to keep the same background but then you get a point right and since we are trying to replace this with so i'm here picture let's try to get the background to match a little bit so what you can do is you can come right on top of the background so the background these two the first background and the birthday background that we put in on top of that we are going to add hue and saturation so let's add a hue and saturation over here and then we can increase it so we can make it more golden brown and then we can play with the hue and saturation and try to get something that matches with sewa i think this colors here let's go some more i think this is fine what do you think so if you turn off the hue and saturation you have something very light with the gold and brown colors but if you turn this one on to if you put it right on top here it is going to change these ones as well i think this is fine now once you have it here the next thing you want to do is if you have anything like a test that you want to put in you can just create something simple and put in over there so on the left side of here we are going to create a rounded rectangle so you choose a rounded rectangle and then you create a very small rounded rectangle like this now you're going to double click on this and we are going to give it a color from this colors that we are using so let's go for the darker brown over here and we can decrease the opacity slightly so you go to the opacity and then you can decrease it something like that should be fine and if you have any test that you want to put in here you can then go ahead and put in that test so there is also going to be a generic test that i copied from google a birthday wish that i copied from google okay so you can choose your test tool and then we are using poppins medium paste your test here now let me try to adjust it right here and quickly readjust it so something like that afterwards you press ctrl t and then you transform it so that it fits right into the rounded rectangle that you created and then you take your time to position it now the color here is not really helping so what we can do is we can add another set of gradients onto this so you right click on this go to the blending options again and then you can add another gradient overlay so you choose your gradient overlay and then you go to the gradient bar and you can add a gradient overlay over here this is the first color that we are using and this is the second color after you're done you can go ahead click ok and then ok and ok from here on the right side we are going to create a rounded rectangle so we go for the rounded rectangle over here you hold shift and then you create a very simple rounded rectangle like that now we are going to give it the same gradients that we applied on this happy birthday so what you can do is you can go to the birthday layer or the birthday test layer you right click on it you go down and you say copy layer style what is basically does is it copies the gradient or the effect that you have that you've applied to this layer and then you can go to the ellipse or the circle layer right click on it and you see paste layer style and then it is going to paste it on it simple right now let's zoom in right over here try to decrease it slightly and we are going to decrease the opacity a little bit as well now we're going to make one more duplicate ctrl j to do that you drag it slightly underneath of it you right click on it and then you are going to clear layer style this is going to revert it back to the original color that you gave it now you press ctrl t open it sideways and sideways like that and now we can double click on this one give it any color any dark color would be fine i think it's not really positioned well so you take your time to position it and now you can decrease the opacity so that it creates that nice circled effect around it so something like this 
should be fine now in the main ellipse what you can do is you can choose your test tool right click and then you can type in plus one okay press ctrl t and then you can open it and now we want to apply this same effect this test effect onto this one as well so we can go to the test that we put in that is the test layer over here right click on it and then you can copy layer style you go to the plus one here you right click on it and then you can paste layer style and now we are going to make one more duplicate so ctrl j to do that you drag it over here and preferably you put the day okay, so so i'm here is march 8th or 8th march so you put that also over here let's make this bold okay so semi bold will be fine press ctrl t transform it and make sure that it is in the ellipse now let's double click on this one and change that one to to say bold or no let's make it semi bold so semi bold it's fine and now we can select the ellipse that we created to the 8th match ctrl g to group that and then you can transform it to make it a bit smaller so somewhere around here it's fine and now when you zoom out this is what you have a very simple birthday flyer design you can even make a copy of this flowers or floating leaves and put it somewhere around here to make it look even more nicer and the rest of the things that you're going to do is basically some adjustments and let's touch up the image slightly like that so you press ctrl l and level it slightly like that and you are good to go finally we can right click on this go to the blending option that is the image layer and then we go to shadow drop shadow and you drop a bit of shadow on it okay opacity is too small something like that you don't make it too huge something like this should be fine and then you can go ahead and click on okay just like that you just created a very simple nice birthday flyer in photoshop you can easily replace this image with any image at all you just need to turn this one off and bring your next image in you might have to make slight adjustments because of the image sizes and the shapes that you want or the design that you want and if that image also contains a different color you can easily use the layer adjustment over here to make the changes that you want i'll be getting value out of this video if this was helpful don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to leave your comment and thoughts in the comment section as well thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye